Okay, so we're running our test compared to rubber tires and evolution wheel and we've got a bucket measurement of 10 and about a quarter we're about maybe a sixteenth over a quarter uh, from the top of the bucket to the front edge of that black plate um, we're trying to measure consistency here to get the same angle on the bucket so we can get an equal and adequate test between the two two different products So we've got to put our evolution wheels on now come back <clears throat> we got our bucket angle set to the exact same as what it was before as close as we could get it we got maybe a little bit greater bucket angle right now we're at uh, just about 10 and 3 16 and I think before we were at somewhere between 10 and a quarter and 10 and 3 16 so I think we we're within a 16th and uh, um, we're gonna go test the evolution wheel see what we can do we're running right beside our old track as you can see that's the pile we made with the rubber tire wheel. With any luck, we're going to blow past that. Also, wanted to show you here that we've got the bucket. The front edge of the bucket is now aligned with the front edge of our other test strip, marked out with the nice crowbar. about to dump our bucket as you can see we just completed our second test for the evolution wheel and as you just saw we went a little farther than the rubber tire so we're gonna go out and measure but the results are this um, we've done two passes one with rubber tire wheel one with the evolution wheel and this is the pile from the rubber tire wheel and then the farther track is from the evolution wheel and that one extends down way over there so we're gonna go measure this right now so we can give the results accurately and uh, see what we got okay so to the front of the pile we're at 10 foot here and we already had 50 feet. So with the rubber tire wheel, we got a total of 60 feet from the start point to the front of the pile. I think we should have brought a bigger tape for this, but see what we can do with the next one. Okay, so we're measuring to the front of our pile with the evolution wheel. With the rubber tire wheel, we had 60 feet total, total length. And uh, we're measuring to 149 total feet with the evolution wheel. We've done all this testing with as evolution wheel 
Now, this is not an independent third party. We're doing this on our own. So we encourage you, if you get your own set of evolution wheels, to go out and do the exact same test, and you should get the same results. Thank you very much.